Okay, let's build a configurator from scratch. So what I'm going to do is start with uh, what this configurator is going to look like when it's finished, so you get that idea of what we're building to. So here's again a very simple block kind of our cube configuration that I want to build. And notice here again I have a nice uh, company logo attached to it just for for uh, effect, if you will. <laughs> and also notice if I change the values here you know, over on the left hand side, what do you expect? It changes the cube and it also um, adds some uh, tolerance to the height and the width of the cube itself. So it's just slightly larger on the height and the width compared to the depth. And I just did that for um, you know, demonstration purposes. So again, you can see how those all are related and what the rules are to make something like that happen. Also notice I have a color field here that I can change just on the fly when I do that. Uh, without that logo on it, you'll see the color of the block change. So some simple things you would do in a configurator, and it'll give you a really nice idea of what the configuration tool and how it how it works uh, when you build something like this. So I'm going to start out, out out here in development, and I always like to start out with a with a um, uh, configurator that I have some settings already pre set up for. So that's what I did with the John D block start. And notice here on the left hand side. Here's where, again, all of my, the pages are. That was the logo on the left-hand side that said cube. And you can see the grouping. That's where, you know, we'll call that sizing there. And that's where all the fields reside. And I'll add several of those as we go. So for page, for example, we're going to call that cube. So again, uh, you know, on the left-hand side, that will say cube as compared to just a, a page. Uh, the group would maybe be sizing, right? This is the uh, group or size or sizing. This would be the grouping of all those uh, those panels or fields that I want to change. And notice field. Very simply, right, with field, we want to change this to depth, right? And that depth, it's going to be a number, and the controls is going to be a number box. Very simple. Maybe also we want to keep that value at zero. We might want to set a default value, but I'm going to leave it there again, just, just showing you something inside of uh, the demo here. And we'll also change that we want to constrain this value. So we only want that user allowed to type in a number between 1 and 10 to make all that work. So we did that with depth. Let's duplicate this. And we're going to do one for height and, and the width here. So let's duplicate what we've already created. Notice we did have some error checking already. Notice that says depth 1 and 1, 1. Because, again, we already have a field with that name. So you notice also the label here. You can have... Uh, labels are exactly the same name, but the name that you reference, again, it has to be unique. So here we'll do depth. We've all, I'm sorry, we already did depth. We're going to do height. Right, so there's my height. And we're going to change that to, again, a number. And we'll, you know, keep all of that stuff the same. And we'll do this for the um, uh, width also, right? Okay, so now we've made all of those changes. Maybe we do want to add another grouping here. And uh, let's do something else. There we go. Let's add another group. And we're going to call that color. Okay. So when we add a color, what type of field, do, you know, that's, that's what the group's going to be called. And we're just going to have a field that says change me. Okay. So now that we've done that, it's not a number, it's a color field. So notice my controls change. So you can see color, color picker, color selector. We're just going to use the picker for this demo. And we're finished. So we've made some changes here. So let's take a quick look at this. We've added the, the cube, the you know, on the, the page, the size, the, what those fields are going to look like. And then this other grouping with another field called change me. We have uh, setups here for what we want the media to look like. So from a media perspective, where do we add the media? Um, the, so when someone searches for this configurator, what do they see? And we're going to use just that Acme logo to do that. And also, since we haven't done any 3D yet, we're going to set this up with just media. And so it's just that the uh, KB Max Live sign here since we're doing this for you live. So I'm going to run that. And there you can see there's all of our... All of our uh, um, fields already set up, right, from what all the fields that I just set up. Depth, height, width, all set to zero. There's my change me field that's going to be just, just that color itself here. Okay, so let's go back. Let's hook up the 3D like we said before. So notice the viewer media is set to just a, a media mode. We're going to change that to 3D scene. 
and just using the John D 3D cube, that's one I start with all the time. We're gonna, that's fine. We'll use that. And again, notice if I open the scene administrator, that's gonna click right into this 3D view. So notice again, just empty blank type of view. And here again is where I could import your files. So for example, again, if you had files from SolidWorks, you wanted to import them into here, that's where we would import them. And notice this very extensive list, uh, different file types that we can support. So from here, let's just add a cube, right? This is what we're gonna change or a block. So when we do that, we might want to have that cube and you can see it's sitting here in 3D space. And we want to, you know, start adding the colors and that type of thing to it. So let's do that first. Let's just add a material. And we just call standard here as a standard material. And that's all I do is drag and drop that. And again, that gets, sets the material of the, of the entire cube here to whatever I'd like it to be in these particular parameters. So you can see just really easily, I could change the colors there. Let's make it more blue or purple. And let's change this and give it a name. We'll call that um, block color, for example. Okay, so now we've made those changes and we've added that, that, that cube to the system itself. So watch now when I run this back in the configurator you should now see the actual cube pop up here in the middle. So again, now we have a 3D cube and we have all of our fields that we're gonna change that cube with. Basically, all we need to do is tell KB Max what are the rules between uh, these two entities, right? The, the fields themselves and the 3D uh, space right here. And we're gonna do that. So from, from this area, we'll just go back to our configurator. And again, we're gonna tell it those rules. So for example, the rules are all done through snap. And so I can have rules that are set with whatever section of the configurator that I'd like. I'm just gonna add value rules. And again, this is snap itself. So with snap, I can say, I want to start doing that logic in between uh, the fields and the, the 3D cube itself. So let's go to under configurator, you see fields. And you can see how they're all nicely arranged with, with different headers. So we're going to certainly get a field value, and we're also going to, you know, we're going to set a field value in there. So notice I'm just dragging and drop this out, uh, these things out into my workspace, and you can have as many of these workspaces as you like. So we're also going to do the logic. You know, we're going to use some if thens in there, and we actually might even use a value or two. So I'm going to drag a value block out there. So I could basically have all my starting blocks, if you will. So notice what happens when I select a block. I just want to select it and I want to connect it here. And you can see that orange dot popping up to make that connection. And these are what's called buddy blocks that will pop up on the right hand side. The buddy blocks, uh, again, allow for commonly used blocks with this particular logic block. And I can drag and drop from there without going from this section to go get them. So in our case, all we're going to do is immediately fix that error that pops up and says that these are not zero for a fact. You know, so I'm saying they should be one, not zero. So I'm gonna say if and get a field value. So one of our field values there is depth. So if I wanna get the depth value and I wanna say it's, uh, if it's less than or equal to zero, we're gonna make a change to that. So very common English language, right? If a field depth is less than zero, do something else. So I'm gonna set that field and that's gonna be the depth equal to something else. Now, what's nice about this, I already have one value block out here, so I can just copy that, drag that down and set that to one, for example. So we'll do that for the depth field, we'll do that for the height field, and we'll do that for the width field. Very simple. So now when I run this, there you'll see all of my numbers equaling one and those errors went away. So their error checking is gone, don't need it anymore, all good to go, all right? So let's go to, let's, let's add another value here. I'm gonna use that same if block, so I'm just gonna copy it. And I can copy that whole thing like you just saw. Maybe I would just wanna make a few changes. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of all this. So very simple, clean up my workspace there. Now we're gonna say, since it's already one, we've set everything to one, let's add that little bit of tolerance that I mentioned before. So I'm gonna say if it's, if it's uh, one, which it will be by then if you follow that logic, we're gonna say set the field value of the height 
And instead of just setting it to a static value, we're going to allow that to change a little bit through some math. So I'm going to use the numbers uh, fields here and grab that block. Now we'll say set the field height value, and we're going to get that depth value, right? That's going to be our driver, and it's going to be to get the depth value plus, and we'll change that to 0.1. So very simply. So again, if the depth value is uh, greater than or equal to one, set the height value plus a plus plus a depth value to 0.1. So in other words, adding of that increment of 0.1. And I'll just again copy that field, drag it down here. We're going to do that for height and the width. And now again, if I run that, you'll see the difference. Now I have the one, and you see the 0.1 and the 0.1 added to it there in the fields. Okay, now we have all of our fields working the way we want to. Let's um, go in and let's add uh, the fields, for example, to go ahead and change that color, right? So basically, we're going to add that, that 3D element to it. So if I go back to my configurator start here, and there you can see there's where I can open my 3D administration tool. So here's again is that block. Let's just basically connect them. And guess what? We're going to use those same snap rules and just add those rules in. So here, here's my snap rule. And again, notice under configurator, we're certainly going to get a field value. So I'm going to drag that out. And under scene, you see we have objects. So we might want to set an object value. And we have models. So we're certainly going to set a model and the model itself to a certain size. So we're going to get model sizes and set the model size. So let's set the model first. So in other words, let's change the block. So we're going to say set the model box its depth equal to guess what one of the one of the fields right so we're going to set that to get field and the field will be depth pretty simple once again we'll copy this down and again the dif the difference is I'm I'm making the fields equal to the 3D before I just made the values equal to each other here I'm making the fields actually equal to that block itself so let's change this to height and let's change this to width. So we just set those all equal to each other. So again, very simple. We'll just move those out of the way. Let me, let me run the configurator, and you'll see what happens here. Now when I make a change to the block itself, so let's change that depth to be maybe 2. Notice, again, it's going to grow. And now that I've done that, let's make this slider. You know, we'll, we'll change that slider when we get back in there so it's to, it's to a slider. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll change that to a slider, and so it's a little easier to control. So now we might want to set the object. In other words, the object is that, um, that 3D uh, color, right? So we want to add the color to it. So that object was just that standard field. It's material. It's that block color we named. And it's just the diffuse color map. And again, that's going to equal one of the fields, right? So we're going to equal that to a field. And of course, I could have stole that. So we're going to get the field change made. And notice what it's telling me here. Again, error checking going on all the time. Notice the connector value is expecting text, but it got one of the child. It's, it's a type of color. So I can right-click on this, immediately change that to the expected type. So again, I don't have to know a lot about that. Just basically right-click, change on it, change what it's looking for, and we're done. So now when I run this again, there now you can see now I have that change me field. It's dark. Because, again, I don't have it a default color set to it, so I just let it come up black. But there you can see now manually I can change that color right there in the field right on the fly. And as I promised, let's do a couple other things. So, for example, let's go back um, to my, to my uh, block here, and let's change that depth. And we're going to change that to a slider, right? So now we've changed that to a slider. Let's run that. And it's, again, a, it's a much more, you know, uh, for, uh, interface, much better interface for doing that, just being able to change a slide bar. Again, you can have lots of different values that you want to do that with, but in my case, I'd really like to just move the slider bar to make the box go back and forth. And, of course, inside of the 3D part, portion of it here, I said, well, I'll show you how to actually add your company logo to it. So from here, I can do that. I want to launch that 3D scene. And really, all I need to do is have that logo handy, which I do here. I just drag it into this field, into the box itself. 
it's going to create another material. And when I do that, I'm going to create a material from it, from that image. I just right click to do that, drag and drop that onto my block. That's all it takes to do that. Run my configuration tool. And now you see it completed. So here again, we have the block, we have the, 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 the heights all changing, the height, the width, the depth of my block. We have our material set and we can change the values here right away.